Years ago, I read a book by a Dr. Joseph Price. It was called Coronaries, Cholesterol, and Chlorine. In his research, he indicated that almost all coronary heart disease, including strokes, was a result of chlorinated water. There's much new research now that expands those claims to everything from cancer to asthma. In Dr. Price's study, he used chickens and found that over 95% of those chickens that drank chlorinated water developed atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries in just a few short months. More recently, there has been some research where the EPA has done the same thing using pigeons and they came up with the same result. I know that's kind of confusing because we've always been taught that cholesterol is the big culprit. Did you know that approximately 80% of the cholesterol that's in the body is produced right in the liver and that's irrespective of any uh, dietary intake? Research now has shown that there's little correlation between the dietary intake of cholesterol and the actual blood serum levels. Chlorine is put in the water to disinfect it, to kill the bacteria and viruses that cause disease. And it does an okay job at that. The rub is it also damages people. One noted biochemist said that it is so dangerous that it should be banned altogether. Another said that chlorine in our water is hazardous, if not deadly. Now remember, chlorine is used in chemical weapons, dry cleaning solvents, as well as bleaches. Autopsies were performed on 300 GIs in the Korean War with an average age of only 22 years. And they found that 80% of them demonstrated gross evidence of hardening of the arteries, even to almost a complete blockage of some of their arteries. Uh, on the battlefront, their water was so heavily chlorinated that uh, they reported even having a difficult time in drink drinking it. At normal rates of chlorination, it may take 20 or 30 years to come up with that same amount of damage. Of interest is the fact that about 20 years after chlorination was brought into the United States, there was a tremendous increase in heart attacks, as well as uh, additionally cancer rates were 93% higher in people who consume chlorinated water. We're not only exposed to chlorine in the water that we drink, but also we bathe in it, we swim in it. It's found that inhaling the steam uh, from a shower has many times the exposure that just drinking chlorinated water would have. Some experts have said if you smell chlorine at a swimming pool, don't go in. Did you ever think that taking a shower or a leisurely swim would become hazardous to your health? There's two major effects that chlorination has in the body. One is that it creates massive amounts of free radicals, and the body's response to that is inflammation, particularly in the blood vessels, and that creates placking. Additionally, chlorine ions carry a negative uh, electrical charge of a negative two, whereas the calcium that's circulating in the blood has a positive two charge. So they are attracted to each other almost like a magnet. They bond and that creates more placking and more clogging. So what's the answer to this if you live in an area where they do chlorinate the water? One of them is to have a whole house water filtration system that would take out the chlorine so you're not drinking it or bathing in it. And the other one is there's a wonderful product by Sun Warrior called Liquid Light that is a powerful chelating agent that will bind to the chlorine and help your body in eliminating it.